Ah, uh, right. I'm sorry about the quality, but I've had to use my camera for this um, on my phone. Uh, hopefully, this will turn out okay. I put my back fence up, and first things first, here's a picture of the gate. As you can see, it slanted right over. I had to come back a second time, move this post five inches this way and uh, then put another concrete post down that side uh, they screwed it to my neighbour's fence which is private and they didn't yeah, they shouldn't have done that uh, and after they done that they done this they put the gate up and it's a bit wonk wonky as you can see in the photo and that part of the ground there was completely filled up with soil that they've taken out from moving this post so I couldn't open the gate. It was about six inches. That was it. Third time they came back, the gravel boards, the concrete ones down the bottom, uh, they replaced it but never bolted in. <laughs> uh, I've owed me about four times now. Finally, they bolted that in, and one of their labourers dug that out so the gate can open they haven't completely done it uh, and it's still too high to put my slabs back down I've had to get people in uh, on a place called next door online which is basically neighborhoods around the Milton Keys I think it's all over the place but uh, there was a good recommendation from somebody uh, about these people, they come and uh, uh, clean gardens and that sort of thing, and uh, do do garden work for people, and uh, they turned out to be very cheap. Um, they're going to come in, level that off to put the pavements down, and this where I'm standing is. Uh, let me just go down here. Uh, take my camera around here. You can see. There's quite a step here from where I'm standing up to the top there. That's all dirt been dug out of there and piled up on here. Uh, he's going to take a lot of this down and he's going to drop it down to this level. Uh, I'll be able to put my mobility scooter in there and put a, le put a lean to up on top of that fence coming down. My polythene underlay is that up there. I can use that to come along the top of the roofs and uh, at the end there will be my wood storage area for my wood burning stove from my workshop. Um, but there was a lot of stuff to go. I'm still waiting for the scrappy to come round here. The other thing was I, I said to keep the wood from the old fence. Uh, I can use that in my wood burning stove. I did actually tell them to put it down here. They put it on top of me. This is my wood box for the uh, to keep the wood in after I cut it down to size. They they put it on top of it, so I've got to move all that, cut it, get this out of the way, uh, get my uh, uh, saw out, and start cutting this down, cutting all this down to fit in that box there. I have got wood here as well, which is. Uh, from my mate's place, it's it's very dry, uh, and uh, this just happened to have uh, <laughs> come out the bag. So I'll put that back in there, keep that nice and dry, and get that over the top of that there. That's just an old greenhouse I've got here, one of those plastic ones, metal poles, uh, but it, it it will keep the wood fairly dry keep the rain off of it put this all underneath here uh, there we go try and keep that all dry there uh, until I get it the lean to done when well, I come in next week to do this uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed that these ones will come back because <laughs> some just don't come back alright I'm going to go indoors now
Right. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm in the kitchen now. Carla. <laughs> You'll get a treat in a minute, Carla. What we need to do here is explain the kitchen again. Now, I came in and done a few bits and pieces, but a lot of it they didn't just didn't touch. <laughs> the extractor unit up there, there isn't one. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Uh, also, <laughs> these cupboards, not, not the floor ones, they're not too bad. I can adjust them a bit in a, later on. But the cupboards up there are being held up with that bit of wood. And on the microwave, I've got tins underneath here holding this cupboard up because the cupboards are coming right off the wall. Oh, oh well you can see that there great big crack across the wall there it's actually been pushed back with wood here so i've got to take all these cupboards down lift them up above where they put the plywood in which is stupid you know if they screwed the plywood to the plasterboard that wouldn't have been a problem oh no they had to chop away the plasterboard then put the ply in on on just about two or three uh, uprights in there and that's all they did uh, of course I filled that cupboard up with uh, food and that there uh, and with plates in that one and it lasted about oh two months uh, and it, they started coming away from the wall so I've had to empty all that again and I'm going to have to do it myself, which is a pain in the backside. I, I, I've told them so. Even the handles here, I've done these two handles myself. I've put washers on them here because I've had to redrill the holes. Uh, I'll pop a bit of glue on those, told them in place. But the other ones haven't been done yet. I've got to get, I've got to get them done. So... Uh, and this one's as well, they've got to be done. You've got to be straightened up. Look, this one's straight, but it's not the same distance here or here. I'm going to do that. Uh, all in all, not too bad. Mate's computer we bought down. He says it went pop on my... I don't want to put a new... I had to get him a new power supply. That's what went pop. <laughs> so that's in here being... I've just got to finish off that today and uh, that'll go on Monday so I've still got, I've got that in my house as well uh, like everything else I'm getting pretty fed up with the council workmen um, some of them done a good job others not such a good job anyway uh, that's why I haven't been doing the videos I actually lost my camera somewhere uh, with all the packing away I've actually put the camera somewhere. I can't find it. I will do. Uh, some of the updates from the card models are on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. You'll be able to see. And at the end of this video, I'll put, I might put a few pictures up just to show you what I've been up to. Because uh, I've been making the wheels for the train. And I started on the carriages. So... I think that's going to be it for me. And Carla is on this. <laughs> and sitting up on the throne position. <laughs> She's happy as Larry, she is. We're just about to go over to the shops so she can have a nice fast run. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway uh that's about it for now so from me and carla see you all soon keep up the modeling bye for now